Hello friends. Today we are discussing safe system approach of road safety. The safe system approach is a road safety strategy that aims to eliminate fatalities and serious injuries by focusing on the entire road system, acknowledging human fallibility and designing for safety and forgiveness rather than solely focusing on individual behavior. It works by building and reinforcing multiple layers of protection to both prevent crashes from happening in the first place and minimize the harm caused to those involved when crashes do occur. It is a holistic and comprehensive approach that provides a guiding framework to make places safer for people. This is a shift from a conventional safety approach because it focuses on both human mistakes and human vulnerability and designs a system with many redundancy in place to protect everyone. There are six principles of safe system approach. One, death and serious injuries are unacceptable. Humans make mistakes. Humans are vulnerable. Responsibility is shared. Safety is proactive. Redundancy is crucial. So these six principles make a complete safe system approach for road safety. The first is death and serious injuries are unacceptable. A safe system approach prioritizes the elimination of crashes that result in death and serious injuries. Second, humans make mistakes. People by nature will make mistakes. When these mistakes occur on the road, they can lead to crashes. Road trauma cannot be eradicated just by improving road user behavior. Safe road system must accommodate and account for people making mistakes. And the third is humans are vulnerable or fragile. Human bodies have physical limits of tolerating crash forces before death or serious injury occurs. The human body is not built to withstand impact forces greater than 30 km per hour. And therefore, any impact greater than 30 km per hour will greatly increase the risk of dying. When a pedestrian is hit at 30 km per hour, there is a great risk of the pedestrian dying. For example, a head-on crashes between two cars will result in impact speed of 70 km per hour, a side impact 50 km per hour and so on. Therefore, it is critical to design and operate a transportation system that is human-centric and accommodate physical human vulnerability. The fourth is responsibility is shared. All stakeholders, including government at all levels, industry, NGOs, researchers and general public are vital to prevent fatalities and serious injuries on roadways and therefore they all should be involved while designing a safe system approach. Safety is proactive. Proactive tools should be used to identify and address safety issues in transportation system rather than waiting for crashes to occur and reacting afterwards. And finally, the redundancy is crucial. Reducing risk requires that all parts of the transportation system be strengthened so that if one part fails, the other parts still protect the people. There are four major objectives of safe system approach. The first is safer people. People generally use the roadway system in a safe manner on any given trip, but mistakes, lapses in judgment, and other more significant risky behaviors still occur. Encourage safe, responsible driving and behavior by people who use our roads and create conditions that prioritize their ability to reach their destination unharmed. That is the meaning of safer people. Educating road users about safe driving practices, enforcing traffic laws, and promoting responsible behavior are part of safe system approach. There are four reasons. Very frequent and persistent behavioral safety factors in fatal crashes. People in motor vehicles not wearing seat belt, driving under the influence of alcohol or drug, speeding and distracted driving. Now, this is a Venn diagram 
showing behavior of passenger vehicle drivers involved in fatal crashes in 2022 in USA. And three factors are identified here. Total speeding, total unrestrained means without seat belt and total alcohol impaired driving that is under the influence of drugs or alcohol. So out of 10,317 deaths which occurred because of alcohol impairment, 1580 are those where the driver was speeding also and 1767 death were when there was all three factors present alcohol unrestrained driving and speeding so this gives you a complete breakdown of the factors which influence the safety similar kind of data is available for indian conditions also in india speeding is considered the major factor in road deaths. Almost 71% road deaths are because of speeding of the vehicle and other factors like drinking and driving, driving on the wrong side, use of, use of mobile phone or jumping of traffic lights are also important factor to be considered while designing a safe system approach. A WHO report of 2023 concludes that correct helmet use can reduce the risk of death in a crash by more than six times and the risk of brain injury by up to 74%. Wearing a seat belt can reduce the risk of death among vehicle occupants by up to 50% and the use of child restraints can lead to a 71% reduction in death among infants. Second is safer vehicle. Promoting the development and use of safer vehicles with advanced safety technologies such as airbags, anti-lock braking system and electronic stability control is the part of safe system approach. The next generation of motor vehicles will increasingly have the technology necessary to prevent certain crashes from occurring in the first place and to mitigate harm to those outside of the vehicle when a crash happens. This is particularly important as the proportion of roadway fatalities involving people outside of a vehicle has increased over the past few years. And in this direction, lane departure warning, forward collision warning, dynamic brake support and pedestrian automatic emergency braking are the features being added to new generation vehicles now. Third is safer speed. Promote safer speeds on all roadway environments through a combination of thoughtful, equitable, context appropriate roadway design, appropriate speed limit settings, targeted education, outreach campaigns and enforcement. The speed limit must be set that are aligned with the capability of road users and the characteristics of the road environment. And therefore proper setting of speed limit is extremely important in safe system approach. The probability of a pedestrian survival when hit by a car at different speed is shown here. When a pedestrian is hit by a car traveling at 20 miles per hour, chances of survival are 90%. When the same pedestrian is hit at 40 miles per hour, then chances of death are 80%. So that is the impact of a speed on survival of a pedestrian. Now this is the impact of change in the speed limit on safety. Now important point here is that this yellow line here which basically indicate the person killed is very sharp, very steep that shows the high sensitivity of death with change in the speed on the road. Now if you change the speed minus 20% that means the speed limit is changed or reduced by 20% then change in the person killed on the road is reduced by almost 60 percent but the same time when you change the speed to plus 20 percent then it goes more than 100 percent and same you can see for seriously injured people and all injuries the effect of positive speed change is more than the effect of negative speed change that is the impact of speed and the reason is that a small change in travel speed will create a relatively large change in perception, reaction time and breaking and stopping distance of the driver, which will result in a much larger change in impact speed, 
and change in impact speed will yield a still larger change in impact energy and that will result in a very large change in probability of death and serious injury and therefore speed on the highway should be safe and the fourth objective of safe system approach is post crash care enhance the survivability of crashes by ensuring that emergency services are well equipped and trained to respond to crashes and provide timely and effectively effective medical care the timely arrival of emergency respondents and well trained emergency medical services staff is a major factor ensuring an injured person receives the medical care to survive a crash this is especially critical in rural and tribal communities where response times are longer and emergency medical service resources are very limited so friends this is the safe system approach of road safety thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions you can write